I took Raider through most of its envelope expansion from first flight through the full envelope that we've put on the uh, aircraft. Raider was a company funded program that the Army evolved and came out with requirements for the FARA aircraft and we've since designed an aircraft a little bit different than the Raider prototype you're looking at right now and that aircraft is currently under construction down in West Palm Beach, Florida at our flight test facility. You know, these coaxial aircraft with a rigid rotor are, are pretty unique. You know, you, you mitigate what typically uh, limits helicopters from going fast, the retreating blade stall, and you're able to go out to speeds. We've gone 210 knots in level flight in this Raider aircraft, and the Army FARA requirement is to go 180 knots. So we've already proven that we can exceed what the Army is looking for in terms of speed. That pusher prop not only allows you to go fast, but it allows you to decelerate quickly. You can decelerate going into that landing zone by putting negative thrust on that prop. And unlike your classic helicopter, you know, where you're coming nose up into that landing zone uh, to decelerate, and what happens when you do that? You can't see the landing zone anymore. So now you can still see the landing zone where you're going to uh, come into. And uh, it, it adds an element of flight safety to the, uh, to the mission profile. The other thing that negative thrust on the prop gets you is the ability to decelerate when you're going downhill. So as an attack aircraft, one of the missions is to put rounds on target. The more nose down I am when uh, I engage that target, the tighter the beaten zone, the closer all of those rounds are together and the better my accuracy is. So absolutely, like this is, uh, this is aircraft one here. This is not a mock-up. This aircraft actually flew and we built two of the Raiders and we're now flying uh, aircraft two at this point. And uh, we are also uh, currently building the FARA prototype and uh, we call it the CP, Competitive Prototype Aircraft, down in uh, Florida. And what we're doing with Aircraft 2 is we're continuing to um, uh, evolve our database that uh, as the, the FARA team says, ah, we would like some information on this particular maneuver and, and understand what the loads are under that maneuver so that we make sure that our design is exactly what we want it to be, then that's what Raider does, goes out and collects that sort of flight test data and, and they basically uh, are employed by the FARA team to uh, collect the data that they need. So the cockpit displays are all modern. Uh, displays that, that you would expect, that it's a, a newer helicopter and we're going to put the most modern uh, displays in there. One of the uh, elements I like to point out is if you look in the cockpit, there's no uh, overhead panel. Uh, this aircraft, I have solid state power controllers and there's no circuit breakers behind me over my head to go looking for. They're all in the glass integrated in my multifunction displays. I mean, all of the, you know, the targeting elements that you get with your heads up display that will be integrating into the system and the touch screen displays that you have, it provides a lot of flexibility to make the life of the pilot that much easier. The other element that uh, this modernization gives the pilot is the, the backbone of this aircraft is a fly-by-wire flight control system. And that backbone allows you to do program in whatever you would like to the aircraft uh, to allow it to do. You don't want to go and, and land in this brownout uh, situation where you're totally stressed out. Let me use my uh, helmet mounted display to look at a spot over there on the ground, click a button and then pass that to the flight controls to have me land at that exact spot. We've got to uh, all of our objectives. We've hit everything that we wanted to do with the flight test program, but like most flight test programs, you don't know what the engineering challenges are until you go out and you stretch the machine's legs in flight test and you find out what it can and cannot do. And, and those hurdles get put up in front of you in, in virtually every, every development program. But at Sikorsky, we have fantastic engineers that uh, you know, quickly uh, push those hurdles down and, and we, we move on. And so we've been able to do everything we wanted to do.